what's up guys welcome to the youtube channel i'm ale from stress less kicks if you guys don't already follow us on the instagram make sure to go check us out we buy sell and trade strictly nike sb i wanted to make a video today to show you guys what this youtube channel is going to bring first of all it's going to be taking you behind the scenes of these crazy events that we go to the setup the breakdown the buying the selling the trading the people interactions and everything in between Second, we're going to be stepping into the office. We're going to be doing reviews. We're going to be taking in-depth looks at special boxes, gear, collectible things that people don't really get to see too often. Maybe you do see it too often, but you just don't get to deep dive into it. And that's what we're going to do right here. And third of all, we're going to take you into the life of me as a skateboarder, taking you to events, taking you to skate parks, all that good old stuff. So the figures that you'll see behind me is the first Metacom toys to release with Nike SB back in 2004. It was a lottery system at certain skate shops to see who would be able to get these figures. They came with the skateboard. They came with the shoes that these professional skaters released. And you can interchange them if you please. Super cool. Really limited. So I also got a bunch of pairs that were signed at a skate park event that happened not too long ago. These are events that I'll be able to take you on the road with and show you guys exactly how I acquire some of these things. So, a Shod model signed by a Shod. Both Costins signed by Eric Costin. Super cool. And then we got the neck face with the neck face drawing. This together is just unbelievable. It's It was super cool to just get any of these signatures. Everything else behind me is just shoes that I don't have the original box to. So, there you go. Plastic boxes. Okay, so I'm going to bring out some staple items that I have in my collection that we bring out for display at these events. And I'm also going to bring in some inventory that we'll have available at the upcoming event, which is SneakerCon for a lot of the January 6th. So without a doubt, one of my favorite things that I have in my collection is this Nike SB Money Cat statue set. You got the lows, the mids, and the highs. And you got this porcelain statue. So the cool thing with this porcelain statue, it was only given to skate shops as a display item. To promote the release of the pack but over time the skate shop owner sold them let them go lost track of them and it came into the hands of collectors super cool pack one of my favorites without a doubt so to give you guys a little sneak peek on what we'll have for sale at sneaker con coming up i brought a little bit of everything to show you the span of what we sell we sell everything from heaters to beaters new old sb dunks everything in between if it has to do with nike sb we're buying and selling it so right here we got purple lobs super hyped pair lobsters have gone through the roof recently and in my opinion just a beautiful beautiful pair got your ben and jerry's fan favorite for sure i also have the special box for sale that i'll be bringing with me i think i have two of them to be honest but then we also got your general pairs you got your Venoms, your Giraffes. But then you got your non-dunk SBs. You got your Paul Rodriguez. You got your MC Hammers, your SB Classics. And things like that where we have the t-shirt to match. Super cool. We specialize in finding these type of things. And then you got your High Tops. You got your Sea Crystals. You got your Ferris Buellers. And then you got some samples, some salesman samples. We also sell new release pairs, kind of like this Powerpuff Girl pack that just came out. Now, another thing that we're going to be talking about on this channel is whether you should sell them right away if you get them or if you should hold them for the long run. In my opinion, this is a pair that you should hold for the long run. Just imagine in a year from now when it comes around holiday time again and it's been a year since this has been released. People are going to be hunting this shoe down just because they want to give it to their kids, their significant other, whichever it is. Definitely a pair that will gain value over time, especially with all these details. And if you're lucky enough to get all the other colors, I only got the baby sizes and this pink one. So it is what it is. I never get lucky on retail. I actually ended up paying resale on both the baby pairs and this size 12 pink pair. But I got them while the market dipped for a little bit. So I got them for pretty decent prices where I can still make my money. Again, you should probably hold these pairs for about a year or so if you're able to. If not... Make your money, man. Right before we go, I got one of the coolest items that I have stashed in my vault that I want to show you guys. This is an item that I might bring out. I might not bring out to an event. Who knows? But definitely something that I keep tucked away deep in the closet. 
So here, guys, I have one of the most unique pairs in my collection. Number-wise, this is one of the rarest pairs that I own. This is a 1 out of 24 size 12 sample. Probably only three pairs made at most. Made for skate blazers. Now, again, it doesn't have to be a dunk for me to love it. I just love everything Nike SB, and this is the epitome of it. All involved skateboarding. The other couple pairs went to people that designed the shoe, people that worked for the company, and stuff like that. So they weren't ever seen to the public. Super cool. And you know I got to have the book to match. Before I break the rare pair. Super cool. Super unique. But like I said, there's a bunch of things that I have stashed in my vault that a lot of people haven't seen. I have skate shop sets. I have unique special boxes that people don't ever see so we're going to be taking deep dives into that as well but definitely super cool thank you guys so much for tuning into my first youtube video they're only going to get better from here so don't worry and i promised you guys a whole lot of things and i'm going to deliver the next show is sneaker con for a lot of the january 6th and it's going to be absolutely crazy. You'll be coming along for the ride, being there with us at 4 o'clock in the morning, in line, waiting for the doors to open up for us to sell a ton of shoes. So it's going to be amazing, guys. Thank you for joining the ride, and we'll see you guys there. Peace.